And now, this. And now, a Father's Day tribute to the world's greatest dad. I figure with Father's Day coming up, we have a great opportunity to sit with the most powerful father in the world. Over the years, I've told you things that I didn't like about you, and I've told you things that I didn't like about you. I've told you things that you had to straighten out, and you know I was very strong. I don't want to make that a big public thing, so I won't even mention it. Well, that's more personal. I think we're talking about you know the business side. My father needs to be reminded that it's him and then everyone else. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't even want to bother him. I feel it's almost trite to call him and just to say hello. Does that make any sense? What's the favorite thing you have in common with your father? Either real estate or golf. Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that. Donald, what does Tiffany have of yours and what does Tiffany have of mine? Well, I think that she's got a lot of more. She's a really beautiful baby and she's, uh, she's got, um, she's got Marla's legs. <laughs> we don't know whether or not she's got this point yet. I'm not going to be doing the diapers. I'm not going to be making the food. I may never even see the kids. The one thing I would say for both of you is you have to keep focused. And you're not always focused, but a lot of that has to do with the fact that you're both very young. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You could stay behind and just ask a couple of the questions without me here if you wanted to. You know, just, I see that's, a, you know, that's something a lot of the big anchors do. They'll say, thank you very much. And then they'll sit in the chair and they'll re-ask a couple of questions. But I think he did a good job. Moving on.